Today is day two in Mendo. We're enjoying some sun and some swimming. And uh, wow, man, hummingbirds galore here. I've never seen so many hummingbirds in my life. Actually, just birds in general. A lot of variety of birds. Just listen. All I hear is birds. Peaceful sleep. That's our, our cabin back there. And uh, what a place, what a place. It's just a nice little slice of paradise that we're gonna enjoy uh, for the rest of today. Later this afternoon, we're gonna do a hike to uh, the, some waterfalls nearby. Hannah, do you remember what they're called? Cascado Nabio. Cascado Nabio. And uh, I don't think it's too long of a hike, but one really cool feature of this hike is there is like a, a self-propelled gondola basket thing that goes over the gorge. And uh, at one point you're five or six hundred feet in the air over the canopy of the rainforest. Sounds kind of cool and kind of intense, so we're going to do that. And uh, aside from that, we're just cold chilling. Tomorrow we head back to Quito and then from Quito to Cuenca. And then we're getting closer to the Galapagos by the minute. So enjoying our days in Ecuador. Life's a pool, jump in. We have begun the hike. It's somewhere between 530 meters and seven kilometers. And we're hiking to uh, some waterfalls, but I just noticed this, and this looks pretty pimping if it had water in it. There's water in it. Nope, no, no, there's, no there's not. not. In the pool? Oh, no, no, there's, no, there's not. <laughs> that looks pretty neat. Mm -hmm. But I would have been upset if we booked, I, I was looking at that place, and if we booked that place and then it was empty like that, I would have been suck. unhappy. Yeah, so, somewhere between 530 meters and 7 kilometers uh, will get us to... Cascados. Namabio. Namabio. And then uh, also the. Cart thing. I, that looked really. That's. Take a side with us. That looked weird. It was supposed to be more of a circular motion, less of a. More of a. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we're hiking on this beautiful road. This is the view, and uh, we'll see, we'll see. I feel like I can see about 530 meters right now, and I don't see a noticeable entrance, so it's probably closer to the seven kilometer range, but uh, check this out. Lots of cool stuff going on. We're definitely close to the river. And I think that the trail we want goes along the river and at some point over. That's gonna be so cool. The canopy and the river and everything else. So we'll touch base as we continue. Tarabita y Cascadas. Five kilometers. So as it turns out, cinco kilometros. Five kilometers and we are at the waterfalls. Policia aquí. River aquí. And this is the legendary Rio Mendo. Muy bien. So yeah, five kilometers, quick five and we're there. No biggie. And then uh, once we're there, I think it's about 50 minutes there and back. That's 5-0. Um, check out the Rio Mindo. Super cool. What a view, what a place. What a life. This 
you, you can kind of see the hills back there. So we're in like a valley. We're gonna take a cable car over the valley and have a look from above. A bird's eye view. You, uh, you guys want to go for a, oh, a quick zip line? Cool. There she is. You want to? Pretty cool. I'm not sure if that's a still functioning zip line or not, but at least once upon a time it was. Looks like a fun zip line. So although we are choosing to walk the seven kilometers, as you can see, you can also take a cab. You can get a cab from in Mindo and it'll cost you two bucks and they'll take you here. Or if you're a little more adventurous, you can do the hike and it's beautiful scenery. I'd say it's medium difficulty and uh, saves you two bucks if you're into that. But we're getting closer. I think it's just a couple kilometers to go now. I was gonna say it might cost you one whiny kid though. Yeah, <laughs> the boy's struggling a bit, but you know, he's getting tough. Uh-oh. <laughs> he's getting tough. So uh, this is where the zip lining tour is. <laughs> I don't know uh, how much it costs, but I've heard it's $20 a person, US, which is very reasonable. Looks like they have two different tracks you can take, one with 10 zip lines, one with th three zip lines. So maybe there's actually different price ranges too. Check it out if you're into that stuff. There's lots of adventurous stuff to do in Mindo. full circle and once again we're 530 meters away from the entrance so this time I think the signs actually true and uh, we should be at the entrance momentarily fingers crossed and just like that we've made it to the entrance how long would you guys say we've been it's an hour, an hour yeah. Okay. Take the time. What do you so think? I would have thought a little less than that, but what yeah, it might have been an hour. So not that long of a hike. Like I said, medium difficulty. There's a couple of places that are steep and you might get a little tired, but that's about it. And now we're at the entrance. So a lot of people uh, will pay a guide to take them up here and they'll bring you, they'll drive you, they'll, you'll have a tour guide, they'll tell you about the area and lots of stuff, but you can also do it on your own like we are now. Lots of options. So this is the basket we take. It's propelled by that motor and it takes you across the valley out there and at the other side there's a bunch of different waterfalls and uh, some trails you can hike on so that's the next step. That's it. Gracias. 
and that's where we just came across. Not that you can see it because the camera is drenched, but uh, that's uh, that's where we just came. And now we will hike to some waterfalls. That was quite the journey, but it was fun. That was a lot of fun. Uh, it takes you pretty high up. It's a quick ride. It's maybe a minute long. And uh, what a view. It's a little too wet for this camera now, so you might notice a change in the quality. Uh... <laughs>